Welcome to the CUNY Teacher Education Webinar Series. Today's webinar will present a six-week study plan that you can use to prepare for the Academic Literacy Skills Test. All of the resources that you'll need can be found in the CUNY Teacher Education Blackboard Group. The Blackboard Group is free and available to all CUNY faculty and students. In the group, you'll find resources that help you prepare for the ALST, as well as other teacher education related topics. To join the group, you'll follow the instructions listed on the screen. These instructions can also be found by going to the CUNY Teacher Education website, whose URL is listed at the bottom of the slide. Once you log into the group, you'll see this homepage. To access resources for the ALS, you'll need to click on the link on the left-hand side of the screen, indicated here. Once you click on the ALS folder, you'll find a variety of resources to help you prepare for the test. You can open the six-week study plan by clicking the first link. The study plan gives you a week-by-week -week approach to using the resources in the Blackboard group. Under the title of each resource, there's a path written in parentheses that shows you how to locate it. For example, if you want to find the ALST test design and framework listed at the bottom of the screen, you would follow the path by going first to the ALST folder and then down to the second link listed. The ALST is a complex exam and you're going to want to give yourself enough time to prepare before you register for the test. Here we're going to outline a six-week study plan using the resources available in Blackboard to help you get ready for the test. The ALST measures literacy skills. It includes both selected response or multiple choice questions, as well as focused and extended constructed response questions, more similar to a short answer question or an essay question. According to the exam framework, all of the items are going to require the reading of complex text to answer the questions provided. The ALST is a challenging test, and many students are having to take it more than once before they are successful. You're going to want to give yourself enough time to prepare for the test before you go in and sit for the exam. There's also a cost of $131 to register for the test. We are recommending a six-week study plan to help you get ready. But once you start preparing, you may find that you want additional time or support before you go in and take the actual exam. For that reason, we recommend starting the study plan before you register, pay a fee, and select your official test date. Students who already took the ALST reported that planning their time, preparing for complex readings, and practicing for the writing section helped them in preparing for the test. Those are some of the areas that we're going to focus on in this study plan. To begin with, you're going to want to start by getting a sense of what the exam is like. This includes knowing the content of the test, what the test is going to look like, and some basic study strategies to help you prepare. By the end of this first week, you should have a sense of what you're going to be tested on, what the questions are going to look like, how many questions the test will have, and how long you will have for your testing time. The test design and framework covers much of this information, but there's also the CUNY Teacher Education webinar, which presents an overview of the exam, as well as some general test taking strategies. It's only 11 minutes long and is a great way to get an overall picture of the test. The Hunter College All Strategies also gives you more detail about the exam content, as well as more information on how to prepare for and approach the test. The next step is to take the time to understand the content of the exam. Unlike other reading and writing tests, the ALST uses long, complex readings from previously published sources, such as newspapers and journal articles. You'll want to try out the sample questions in the ALST preparation guides to get a sense of where you are starting out. At the start of week two, we recommend sitting down with the ALST preparation guide and going through all of the questions to see how you did. At the end of that session, you'll want to ask yourself what you felt your strengths and weaknesses were and what areas you wanted to focus on. For example, you may have felt more confident in the reading section and may feel that you need additional practice to help you prepare for the writing. Once you have a sense of where you are starting out, 
The Lehman College ALS module will take you step-by-step -step through the different sections of the ALS and provide you with resources and testing strategies to help you prepare. The ALS module is incredibly content-rich, so we really recommend that you take time and go through all of the information presented. For that reason, we've allotted two full weeks for this section of the study plan because you don't want to rush through this part. Once you've had a sense to review the content and do some of the practice for the reading section, you'll want to really zero in on your writing practice. The writing section of the test makes up more than half your score. A great place to start in preparing for the writing practice is with the ALS writing rubric. This gives you a sense of how your writing is going to be scored and what you need to include in your responses to do well on this section of the test. The Hunter College Enhanced Study Guide will also take you through the characteristics of a strong written response so you can think about what you need to include in your own writing. Then, you can use the writing practice test and the practice for the ALS writing section slide deck produced by City College. These will take you step by step through writing your own response to a practice ALS section. At the end of this week, you may want to consider setting up time with a faculty member to get feedback on your writing or even making an appointment with your campus writing center. It can be really great to get an opinion on your writing so that you can get a sense of how you're doing and any areas that you still need to work on. At the end of four weeks, you'll want to start thinking about how prepared that you feel. Do you feel that you're ready to register for the test and select a test date, or do you think that you still need additional practice? For extra practice, you can use the other ALS writing practice sets included in the City College resource. The New York State Common Core Regents exams also can give you additional practice on the multiple choice or reading section of the test. And finally, there's a full-length practice test that you can buy for $29.95. The test is created by Pearson, the maker of the ALS, and is built in the same computer-based platform that you'll take the actual exam in. It's a full-length test and can be a great way to get a sense of whether or not you're ready for the exam. At the end of the test, you'll receive a score on the multiple choice, as well as sample written responses that you can use to compare to your own writing and see how you did. In addition to the resources laid out in our study guide, we really recommend spending some time getting to know the computer-based platform that these tests are given in. There's a computer-based section of the Blackboard group that will take you through the new testing features. There's also a free tutorial that goes over the basics of what to expect. We also recommend talking to faculty at your school to see what other resources are offered. Many schools have workshops, online resources, and even tutors available to help you as you prepare for the ELF. Thank you so much for joining our webinar today. This webinar will be archived at our Teacher Education Student Resource page. You can also email our team with any follow-up questions that you may have at teacher.education at cuny.edu. Best of luck in preparing for your exams.